We might see zippers in the other divisions. But I'm not really sure. I feel like, in my experience, zipper is more of a style choice. It doesn't seem to be as stable as the Adion. But could be proven wrong. I won't be proven wrong in this division, though. Because nobody's playing it. I brought out the Revolt IO um, playlist for today. So if you got any other OST suggestions, let me know. But we're already in here. The divisions have already formed. But we've got two people going for that alternate route. That should put them pretty far behind. A rocket can connect as well. Kabai just falling pretty far back. William Adama actually uh, made a full escape already. Jeromu, Tom Dom. Jeromu going to be holding on. Toba Phone out here on his phone in a podium position already. Flo, Kabai just getting passed up. And um, we'll go ahead and go back to the front. See how everybody's doing. 20, 30 meters. Not much happening. And, uh, you know, that's the nature of Toy World 2. A lot of wall rides. But there could also be a lot of oils and stuff like that. Fate coming out. Not going to affect Tova too much. Could it be a zap? Not going to be a zap from Flo. Oil coming out in a nice choke point. Erotic taking it quite well. Going to get a bunch of time off that. Not anymore. Jeromu chasing down Tom Dom for second place. And that's actually William in, in the sights at this point. He had a pretty nice advantage. Uh, the rocket gonna miss. Battery, and woo, was that a fake? Uh, Tom Dom, actually not sure. Whoa, I have no idea what's happening right now. It was Jeromu on the pass. Uh, <laughs> there's some strange things happening with the camera right there. William gonna get past as well, getting back one position, but Jeromu 40 meters out in the lead. Seems like a fake pickup was William's ultimate demise there. I'm not really sure that oil going to hit a bunch of people, more than likely. And big gaps. Big old gaps. Uh, we're on lap 4-7. Flo and Toba fighting for fourth place. Um, Tom, Dom, and William fighting for second. Those looking to be the major fights. We got about 10 people in the lobby right now. Oil going to come out, but Tom Dom unstable to begin with and actually dodges it. Uh, William going to dodge that ball as well. Second for more pickups. Uh, William, uh, pretty close to Jerome here. Could show a shockwave? Could do something. We'll have to see. It sounded like a shockwave. Tom Dom blowing up. Uh, but so much of a gap ahead of fourth place, about 50 meters still. He is good to go. Whoa, Tom, Tom Dom has actually fallen back a lot off of that. Uh, if you look in the bottom left. Tova fighting, Flo fighting as well. This could allow Tom Dom to escape though. Uh, we're on the next to last lap. Tova spinning out a little bit on that phone. Might have to get used to it. Inigo, six. Roddick fighting with Kabai just for seventh. Almo far back. Maddie about to get lapped. Uh, Jeromu, yeah, continuing on about 50 meter gaps between first, second, and third. And um, yeah, I'm kind of flipping through people looking for those fights, but there are there are gaps, um, just gaps. With Tova, wow, 125 meters going to that final lap already. Tova with the overtake. Seems to have a pickup in the Kasi. Gonna connect with Tom Dom, and he's got the zap. Wait, did he? It was maybe it was just a visual thing. Flow, and they both had the battery, but Flow activating faster, and uh, both gonna be passing up Tom Dom, who seemed to activate the zap there, but uh, not gonna be too beneficial with it. Might have gotten knocked out of the way by the train. A bit of a pile up there. Uh, they managed to escape though. Jeromu on that first place position.
Uh, it didn't look like it could be. <laughs> yeah, Jerome was sitting in third place for a while there. Uh, Jerome have been performing very, very well in, uh, it looks like somebody disconnected. Kabai just uh, might be waiting for him to reconnect. But what I was saying was Jerome who has been doing very, very well in Division 3. Has won a lot of these events. Doing quite well for himself. Um, Tom Dom. Been doing well too. Had a bit of a mistake there at the end of Toy World. We do have a reconnecting player. Kabajus has made it back. Tova. On his phone, doing pretty well for himself also. We're head to Santorini. Santorini going to have um, a bit of a gangplank. Um, a bridge, a tightrope. Oh, uh, I didn't know that um, the ready calls were for me. Actually, I guess I'll, I'll say I'm ready more now. Yeah, I'm always ready. I'm always ready to go, uh, but it's fine. Um, and away we go into Santorini. Almo out of pole position needs to hold on to it. Triple pickups. And we'll see what was given um, in these ch uh, choke points. It's going to be quite beneficial for certain pickups. Uh, it doesn't look like any are coming out right now. I'm not going to name them and then curse uh, the rest of the lobby, but uh, yeah, no oils coming out uh, on the tightrope. The bomb is going to be for Flo, though. Trying to pass it on to Maddie. Actually, Maddie not doing too well at all in the previous track, but a huge recovery so far is going to get that bomb passed by Flo. William Adama, 25 meters. Flo's got something, uh, choosing not to use it. Maddie, Jeromu, and big gaps already forming. 70 meters uh, between third and fourth place. Flo going to be taking that quite wide over the bridge. Ooh. That was an extremely well-timed shockwave by Flo, but William's just gonna press the repo button and be rewarded for his efforts. Flo getting zapped on the incline, uh, dodges the oil though, and they're gonna, both gonna be cycling for pickups. There it's one for William. Flo's gonna be looking for one of his own. They've got a pretty, oh, Flo's actually still got a pickup. Bomb being passed for William. And we'll see what happens when it explodes. He's going to be flying. Oh, terrible repo. And it looked like Flo on the pass does still have a pickup. Jerome, we trying to pass as well. 50 meters uh, for fourth place. Big battery slows down so he doesn't go all the way off the track. But you sit in that straight away. Gets a lot of value off it, but Flo's been holding on to something. There it comes out. Flo is very, very patient with that zap, seemed to not want to use it against William. Um, might have not had a chance to do so, but I do believe he did. 117 meters is going to be here uh, for Maddie and Tom Dom. Looks like there were huge oils, zaps, things like that. Indigo, Kabajish battling as well. Tova pushing him out of the way. We'll be headed back to the start just to see William Madama trying to pass, but it's a straightaway. He's going in straight, and he's got the uh, missile aimed right at his back. The repo not going to be as beneficial as it was last time. Jeromu nearby, not as close as he was in the previous track at this time. Lap five of seven, about 40 meters between them. Uh, we can go check out the back for just a little bit. Tom Dom and Almo, as well as Inigo, fighting for that fifth. Tova, uh, Kabajas, this is a huge group in the back. We'll have to see how that continues to develop 
For now, we got Flo in an 80 meter lead. William and Jeromu fighting on lap five of seven. So we can go ahead and wait um, to see the back until maybe the final lap. Um, but for now, I do want to check out this fight for a second. William and Jeromu. Uh, seems like William, or I mean, Jeromu probably has a pickup. We'll see if William does. Yep, looks like they both do. Uh, holding on to something. Jeromu likely with either a zap or some kind of projectile that he's waiting to get closer. Use maybe shockwave, maybe water balloons. Um, and William, I uh, don't know if that was a shoddy landing. That didn't look purposeful. And the zap to reward him for his efforts, sending him into the graveyard, essentially, in this battle for second place. It's going to be tough for him to recover from that. Although an oil uh, could switch things up if, you know, he hit it and the other dodged it, something like that. We'll get music up in just a second. Maddie Tom Dom fighting. Kabajish Almo with a nice little zap onto Kabajish. Uh, and Inigo actually has to stop. So that's going to impact two of the players. Um, go ahead and see how it's going in that front battle. Nothing doing on the final lap. It looks like they're all about out of time. I'm flipping a bit much right now. <laughs> and no, uh, Tom Dom with a battery. Uh, Maddie. Not going to be able to connect with the zap, but then Tom Dom wrecks. Maddie is able to do so and gets out of the way of the missiles. Uh, Maddie in fourth. And it, it's looking quite good for Maddie. Tom Dom isn't necessarily backing down, does drop an oil, and that's going to be about it, as far as I can tell. Um, that oil is going to cause a question mark, but oh, hello. Kabajus with the bomb, Inigo with the pass, and with the missiles, though, and hits himself. Could even get passed by Omo at this point. Oh, my. Oh, oh my. Whoa, 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 whoa. No way. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Can I... Can is, can you buy even chat? Explain what just happened, dude. <laughs> what? Um, well, it looked like um, there was just a straight shot to victory there at the end. I was looking at Almo as well as Kabajus, I think, but one of them seemed to repo in the doorway, maybe on top of an oil, getting smacked around. Yeah, it was a bit of a, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't necessarily agree with you because uh, it was kind of shot around a corner. I It was kind of a Hail Mary that ended up not working out for him. I definitely think that that was, a, yes, yes, yes. Um, but then the, the rockets from Almo absolutely connected on their target. And uh, yeah, it's just a little bit too much happening there at the end for me to even process it all. There were four people piled up, it looked like, by the end of it. Tova and Flo going to be our... Uh, oh, and immediately losing those pole positions on those cars. Jeromu uh, out near the back to start off his race in Spavel as well. Inigo... Sitting in third, getting pushed by Tom Dom a little bit. Kabajas. Almo nipping the corner there. And let's check out the front. William and Almo both getting way out of the action there. And I really like that move, actually. Um, Roddick getting spun around as we flip towards the front. William, Tom, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, ho, what? But, so I, I believe he missed. Unfortunately, but what a move by Tom Dom showing some serious track knowledge right there. I had no idea that existed. And he said, well, it does. He almost got it too on that JG7. Um, wasn't quite able, or is that an Adion? That's of course an Adion. We have one JG7. Um, neither here nor there. William going for the uh, a different route now that he feels that he's safe. 30 meters in the lead. 
Palm Dom and Jeromu. Spa Vault could be one of the more difficult tracks, and Jeromu seems to have made absolute collision with Tom Dom there. Uh, unfortunately, not going to happen, though. We didn't get to see if Tom Dom picked up the star. It looks like he did, um, I, unless it was already picked up, but I don't believe it was. Indigo and Tova battling for fifth. They're all going to have a Rude Awakening in just a moment. Um, well, whenever Tom Dom chooses to use it, actually. And uh, William continuing out in the lead. It's going to be William Almo. Tom Dom with that star. And there it goes. Ooh, a nice little spot for Tom Dom. And it even served as protection uh, a little uh, because the rocket had to go up and over the ramp and it, it lost its accuracy on him. So, um, Spot Vault 2, one of the, definitely one of the more difficult tracks in the pool. And uh, it's showing as there are some mastery gaps here. Uh, no major fights developing. The mistakes have, that have been made have been made. Uh, most things have gotten ironed out by now. Tom Dom looking nice, trying to catch William, but actually Almo might be able to lock on with those rockets. Ooh, I'd be a bit too far away for that one. Maybe trying to cycle for something better. Uh, he's running out of time though hmm, Has a full lap even a little bit more, but that's definitely not gonna help uh, flow versus Jeromu Tova and Inigo um, Not too much to watch As we head back to the front and we are on the final lap, so we'll go ahead and watch this for a little bit. Tom Dom trying to chase William in that second place, sitting Maddie into the boxes. Almo, uh, that looked like he was getting close if you're watching the bottom left, but just a little bit of an AI node thing, I guess. Um, 20 meters is what he's gonna have to recover. And uh, the, the handling in this Ura V8, it does seem a bit worrisome. I'm not too familiar with it. Does go spinning. Not going to be able to catch Tom Dom. Um, and any other fights remaining? It looks like Inigo versus Tova could be one battle for sixth place. Inigo going to go be spin sent spinning though. Um, might have something. Tova on the phone on the Kasi. It's a great handling car in my opinion, and I think he should have no trouble. Indeed, he does have no trouble. Battle between Maddie and Roddick to finish this out. Roddick missing the entryway there. Okay. Um, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all are being funny. Uh, let's see what what track we got next. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Game room two. Game room two, one of the newer tracks that we've got available. Six laps of it. Uh, as I've said, lots of wide, uh, Areas of the track if you've watched previous weeks, we have done game room two a number of times um, so I Do wonder how impactful things like oils will be compared to some other tracks like uh, I don't know Spobble 2 for example um, There are Specific choke points though that are seem to be quite effective um, the u-turns in the arcade room for example uh, the vent, for example. But outside of those specific areas, um, uh, the doorway as well. Um, uh, 
maybe maybe through the stairs. I guess there are there are there are some areas. But I would say that that's definitely a defining feature of the track is uh, these wide areas of the track. And it, the funny part is when we start the reverse uh, track, we actually see the star. You, you literally just see it in the in the left left hand corner of your screen. So we'll see it, who's brave enough to just roll. It. Nobody, not a single soul in this lobby is brave enough to go and take in front of everyone's face. Big fake pickup. Uh, top three already forming William Almo and Jeromu in that red Adion. William, ooh, with a tricky jump, and that is going to be a massively effective oil by Jeromu in that vent area. We see them all go spinning out from it. Uh, it's going to hit every single person. Jeromu uh, actually getting collapsed on by Almo just a little bit in that Ura V8. Almo might have a pickup. Goes a little bit wide to pick one up there. Jeromu getting an ideal spawn, and there would have been another one uh, for Almo had he waited a bit. Um, hard to know though, hard to know. 25 meters, 30 meter gap. Uh, it looks like an oil has caused quite a bit of issues for a number of people here. The bomb. It flows trying to pass it to Indigo, but Indigo's got the moves on him. A William Adama not going to be jumping through that time. Maddie with the fake, not going to matter too much as we move forward a bit. Kabai's just chasing down fourth, and Zyno going to almost look like he connects, but not quite. Zyno super wide on those turns, though. Uh, and he is going to be chasing down what looks to be Tom Dom in that lime green Adion. Battle for third. We can check first for a bit. Big gaps. Stay locked in on this three-way battle for third as they head up the stairway. And a fake, I was wondering, it's going to hit Kabaijus as well. Not directly, but indirectly. A fake by Kabaijus. And William shooting out rockets. Kabaijus as well, but not going to be as lucky in the bar stools he goes. And 40 meters. Uh, William not going to risk it. Jump, jump straight over Zino's head. And he gets two positions off of it. Backs up a little bit. Says, hey, Zino, here you go. Slows down. Let's him pass. And it was Zyno about to blow up. We'll see how badly it affects him. Zyno taking those turns quite wide once again. And into the game room he goes. Uh, well, the arcade station is not really a room. It's not anything like a room, actually. So... <laughs> Battle for third. It looked like it was over, but Tom Dom started to get a bit orange uh, for William. And even turning green for a moment there at the end of the stairwell is going to straighten out to about 40 meters by the end of it. Um, but Tom Dom doesn't have as much breathing room as he had hoped for, that's for sure. Uh, I do want to check. Yeah, I mean, it, there's no point in checking. It's 150 meters between first and second, um, 75 meters between third and fourth. Or second and third. So the battle really is going to be between third and fourth, maybe fourth and fifth, if Zyno can manage to catch. We'll be locked on for William here just for a moment. It looks like he's got a pickup. Going on to lap number five. Barely dodging that chair. And the Ure, I'm really not convinced on it. It doesn't really seem like they are handling it that well. Um, no offense, of course. Uh, Zap going to be coming out, hitting everybody on the field. But Tom Dom, uh, wait. Wow. You lose focus for just a moment, start talking about something else, and everything changes just in that instant. Zyno is in fifth with the bomb. Looked like he might have been able to do an overtake, but gets shut down by the Zap on Tom Dom. And Tom Dom getting quite close to William, uh, but not... Uh, it basically evaporated in front of his eyes. So now he's at 60 meters uh, behind William at this point. As they head into their final lap, no more fakes in the stairwell, it seems to be. Zyno and William. Um, Tom Dom, I mean, battling it out. The missile, not going to connect. 
And that shockwave looked like it was sitting in reverse. I'm not sure 100%. Zyno with a nice execution right there it is going to be getting approaching Tom Dom at a very unfortunate time, though. Tom Dom almost tries to go battle royale on him, uh, but it isn't going to be uh, able to pass the bomb off it. it but Zyno with these very, very wide turns, I think it is. It might just be an effect of the Ura V8, but it just looks like Adion is just the straight up better car, no matter where it is on the track. Tom Dom is just approaching with ease on Zyno. Zyno has to actively block him, zap him. Uh, not going to work out. Zyno in that fourth place position. Kabajish looks to have a nice little lead. Uh, Flo trying to chase down Tova. No space to do it with, though. On the Kasi, Swift swerving around. And almost able to catch him. It doesn't have anything to use, though. Not going to be able to do it. Uh, Inigo, Maddie, bit of a gap for them as well. And uh, dominate race by Jeromu right there. Jeromu has had quite a performance on a number of these um, tracks. Has blundered a bit as well got started out on last place in that uh spa vault race but yeah big recovery head into game room two and ghost town two is up next Um, oh, I don't believe that this is the correct track. It should be Ghost Town 2. All right, I caught it. I caught it. <laughs> it's it's hard being a host, y'all. Like I'm not gonna lie, I would I do not like hosting. It is way too much responsibility on my shoulders. People ask me to do things, I'm like, what? You mean what? Flo and William battling for first. That oil not gonna quite connect, but it's gonna hit a big number of the field. The zap, gonna be quite the, the wreck zap as BGM likes to call it. And Flo slows down to shoot William. William slows down to shoot Flo. They're both gonna connect. William with the new pickup. Looks to be making it above that ramp, which can be quite scary. Shoots a ricochet rocket, not gonna connect with Flo. Continuing to cycle. We'll see what William does with this new pickup. Could it be a zap? Does he go for a little intersection zap? Not gonna happen. Zyno. Wow, and Zyno actually gets zapped as well um, by the other oncoming traffic. Um, so that's going to be super helpful for William Adama, uh, but it's also going to be helpful for Zyno and Flo. Um, Flo with the bomb, bit of a, a wreck it seems. Going to have another up ahead, almost trying to connect with the rockets. Uh, Flo trying to connect with his own. It seems to be full recovery from Flo. Well, spoke a little too soon there. He's still got to race the correct line. Gets shot into the corner. And deceleration on the ramp is going to be passed by Almo. Everyone is bullying Flo at this point. That connected with Jeromu, but it's just going to flip him because the star was played at the same time. And this is an intense battle for third place. We've got a whole bunch of people lining up for their piece of the pie. Uh, Rockets coming out. Not going to be connecting huge oil. Hitting three, gonna hit way more. Almo with an escape. Um, 95 meters for William out in first. 70 for Zyno. It continues to be that battle for third. Looking more like fourth, though. Uh, a wreck missile um, by Dromu. Seems to have recovered quite well. Kabai's just not having the same luck, though. Passed by one, two. Almost Maddie as well to make it three. Uh, the oil is going to be quite easily dodgeable. Maybe not, though. Flow seemed to have been in the ditch, and all of these 
oils the triple missile not uh, necessarily the most efficient use of your pickup there when you're literally sitting on his tail but flo's pissed and he wants uh action now so he's gonna go try to make it happen but getting hit by a couple other more pickups flo falling back into six Battling with Kabai just sends him spinning the rocket for response. And these have been all out wars. A lot of times, you, you know, there'll be a little drive by, but I have to stop because an oil in the uh, exit is going to be quite the problem. A huge repo, and it's a repo back in the same spot uh, for a double oil. A massive time loss for Flo. Maddie seems to have survived, though. Flo may be hit by that shockwave as well. It's hard to tell. Let's go ahead and flip towards the uh, front once again to see how those front positions are doing. Zyno no longer with that secured second place is going to be battling with Almo to hold on to it. We will watch this for a little bit, but it's really hard to commit to it because I know there's a brawl going on. Almo dodges that oil. Um, and I have to tune back into it here. Fifth, sixth, seventh is battling. Uh, it's going to be Flo, Maddie, Inigo. And I am switching through the people a lot. I know that. But there is a lot happening. And it, 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 did that hit? Oh, that looked like it could have hit by Maddie. It was not a locking missile, but it just had the perfect trajectory. Flo uh, running into that oil there, trying to take that turn a bit too tight. Bomb on Kabai just falling back, fighting with Tom Dom in that lime green uh, Adion. Inigo wants a piece as well, trying to skirt by. Water balloon's going to miss. Um, going to be heading to the final lap soon, and we can check out the front of the pack once again, get an update on that. Uh, but your ballroom brawl continues here. Flo getting sent way off as he runs into the support of the mine. It tries to zap. It's not going to happen, though. Inigo does have a pickup. He's going to be trying to use it on Maddie more than likely. Maybe a nice little choke oil. Not going to happen. Maddie. Whoa, Maddie. Whoa. Slow down. Almo and Jeromu battling for fourth place in this final, final lap. Looks like pretty nice gaps for the rest of them. We'll stay tuned in. Almo and Jeromu till the end here. Jeromu trying to catch, trying to cut off with that zap. Maybe could have been better used to cycle, uh, but it might have just, might have been cycling even. Uh, Matty, Flo, Inigo battling for fifth, it looks like. Going to slow down so that Maddie can't pass him the bomb. It is going to blow up, but it could go in Maddie's favor. Maddie actually just going to completely cut him off, say, I didn't want fifth place. I just don't want you to have it. Inigo is going to take the, the battery and finish it off. Maddie with an absolute cruel disregard for human life. No respect shown. Uh, Kabai just finishing it off as well. Roddick, Tova. That's going to be the end of this one. William Adama with the first place, the host of our race. Shout out to William taking us to Ghost Town 2. We got there. Zino and Almo doing quite well as well. Um, let me turn you up. Uh, well, it's, it's not turning you up. It's just my Discord's turned down. Oh, I see, I see. All right, can we try again? I am talking about lovely, the race that lovely. must be upcoming. What is the next one? It's gonna be a Petro. reverse track, obviously. And yeah. it's gonna be Petro Volt. Yeah, we, we tried to do Petro Volt early, but I said, hold on. We're not there yet. We went back to Ghost Town 2. We're going to be headed to Petrovolt now. Uh, we got Stadvolt and Supermarket as well after these. Um, oh, so we see Jeromo getting that fourth place. He's been doing super, super well for himself as this race. In this race, just like he has been in the rest of the RVRL session so far. Um, looks yeah, like I, believe he, I do believe Jeremy is leading the table. Oh, yeah. So, 
Yeah, he is by quite a bit in front of Riles. <laughs> How has Riles been doing? Is Riles in the low? Ah, that's right. Riles is not here. Riles has been a major competitor for Jeromo. Absolutely. Well, it seems like not today. Um, that's going to cost quite a few points, especially if Jeromo can make all the rest. So. Yeah, very true, very true. Um, and this this uh, session has actually gone by lightning fast. Um, we're already pretty much at the halfway point here. Um, so I'm not sure with you joining a bit late if we'll be able to see the, the scoreboard updates after this uh, race or not. Um, uh, not necessarily, because uh, for that, I'd... Uh need the rest of the session log right which i don't have okay 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 william with the pole position he's gonna be holding on to it around the tree all those red addions gonna be fighting indigo in the sus addion which is not actually an addion uh flow uh with a nice zap onto both of them his uh red colored competitors and william Nice fake on Zaino as well. William dropping down way too far on that. It's just he, no, no, no. We don't have to go all this way. A uh, bit of a poor execution on that jump, in my opinion. You really do not have to take it like that at all, uh, unless yeah. the track's been updated. And we yeah, got people. No, yeah. you can definitely jump off to on the right and gain an advantage. At least mm. as far as I know, but I don't think it's been that long since I've played it. Right. And I don't see why they would update it, because I think it's a very interesting line. Although, yeah. I guess it would be better consistency-wise to go the long way. Jeremy and Tova passing the bomb <laughs> to each other uh, again and again in the meantime. And Tova, I think, almost got lost while recovering from that. And yeah, these positions are changing so much that it's hard to even get the camera onto them the correct way. Uh, Tom Dom again be activating that zap just a little bit too late. Maybe felt badly about using it uh, in that situation, but I think that would have been a perfect time to use it. Instead, he waits just a little bit, maybe a bit of a connection difference, but I, you know, maybe just a little bit late on the decision making there. He is going to pass up Jeromu, but he's got Jeromu right on top of him. Zaino Almo uh, makes a wreck on the sh a bit of a. Small shortcut there. They drop. And then Zaino messes that up, pulls out the zap, but Jeromo <laughs> went for the shorter version of that pass we've talked about. Mm. So Zaino falls behind to force. Jeromo will be maybe coming for the leaders now. Yeah, he snuck Although in. William is quite a bit ahead. Yeah. Jeromo does have a they, pickup. Unless William makes something major. Uh, I mean, makes a big mistake in general. What is going on? Maddie? not showing too much track knowledge there. Taking that turn excessively, excessively wide. Running straight into Jeromu. It's going to be oh, a bit... Yeah. But Forrest Dino is shooting Tom Dom with a shockwave. Tom Dom won't even flip, won't even bat an eye. He'll just keep well, going. And now he's out of flow as well. Well, flow ran uh, directly into a, a crevice on the track and actually lost a ton of time. Got passed by Jeromu. Jeromu going to be taking the exit now and he's uh going to be spinning up into the corner just a bit and these players really are not capitalizing on that shortcut indigo takes it pretty well though i mean he could have done it a bit better um uh, especially at the very end but he did a good job dropping off of the ramp instead of following it all the way down uh so we are on lap three or four we do have some chances tom dom and jeromu continue the fight and it's going to be to jeromu with the zap this time forcing tom dom to slow down tom dom had a battery and he activated it did appear uh maybe not uh but it did look that way tom dom almost getting uh side swiped off the track jeromu tries to pass the bomb to oncoming traffic oh, wow what a great flip by him but then he gets the bomb and unfortunately uh, the lucky flip turns into a more unlucky one where he will lose more time and Tom Dom zapping uh, quite a few cars then. Yeah, the zaps have really been coming out in full effect and it looked like Zaino fell off but he's actually ahead of Jeromu at this point. Gets two wheels into that oil though and a big pass by Jeromu as they head into that incline. 
Yes, I know fell off uh, two canal and gas ratio the, by some of the cars here. Uh, <laughs> whoa! The same wall, the same wall, the two of them wow. running to the front. And no, uh, we have to look at the front because William has spun out and Tom Tom has passed. Um, I don't know what led to that spin right there. Might have been a, a, a projectile by Tom Dom. Uh, but Tom Dom now has a bomb and he's nicked the corner and so he's going to be flipping but gets a nice recovery despite the bomb shot by the shockwave and that time he will be flipping around and he runs into the track once again he's starting to panic Jerome's coming Jerome's coming and can he catch William still it's the last lap oh, oh. there's 20 meters if he oh, gets the projectile no. and he crashes so the projectile will be going for Tom Dom and won't be hitting so Jerome mm -hmm. Could have been so much more for him in this uh, final few turns mm. than what it was. Wow. Uh, Tom Dom, really? F and Zyno going to try to hit with the war balloons. Not going to quite connect. Inigo walking down a nice uh, fifth place. Uh, Flo, Almo, Kabaijus, Tovo. But Kabaijus may just be getting passed by Tovo. This is not an ideal part to repo at. He does escape. Uh, Tovo fighting with Rodic for ninth place. But yeah, if uh, there's... <laughs> Anything you want to touch on from that? Um, it looked like Tom Dom could have had the victory there, but it was a lot of players had feeling a lot of pressure right there. William, Tom Dom, Jeromu, Zaino, they all made mistakes. Some of them multiple times uh, on those last few turns of the track when they had been doing quite well leading up to it. Yeah, it's definitely a hard track. Uh, we've seen that one shortcut. We've seen the tight sections at the end. And they have difficulties on it on the normal way, even though they already know that quite well. I think Petrovol, with its U-turns, uh, has some easier and some harder sections, though. And what I've also seen is that there was a very long part without, like, basically any pickups. So after that, they arrived, uh, and that's when a lot of pickups happened at the petrol station mm. itself. Absolutely. Uh, a whole lot of zaps being exchanged between Jerome and Dom Dom. It was a bit of a, a war between the two of them. A bit of a duel, you could say. A little one versus one zap only battle. Um, and it looked like Tom Dom was emerging from that. But Jerome, you can never... Wait. It was Jerome for a second, right? I'm pretty how sure did it, it was shake out for a second. There? I don't uh, even remember how it ultimately ended. Yeah, so... William was leading by 80 meters at some point. Yeah. Then, Jero then two people have gone back up. Jeromo took second, was 20 meters behind, had a rocket, but then he crashed. Mm. And then Tom Dom wasn't hit by his rocket. And then Jeromo, I right, believe, right, uh, right. almost got by his yeah. as well. But got it, got it. Sorry, down myself for a ball. second. Yeah, here we go. Already a bit of a podium and a zap uh, by Jeromo. Gonna really make a statement, set the uh, tempo of the race as we head in. Yeah, and uh, I wonder if anyone's gonna go for the start. I think it's in that area. I'm not quite sure Zaino with the rocket though, and he's gonna be hitting Jeromu, and Jeromu can't hit him back because Zaino crashes. Matty behind, having difficulties, I think Matty crashed. Sh Do we pronounce it Matty or Matty, I wonder, because uh, it's. It's Polish, I think. Uh, it's, it's, I think Polish. I absolutely would be the last person to ask um, about Polish pronunciations in general. Um, this too. Okay, that's bad. But we can. Uh, I actually didn't hear a difference between the two pronunciations that you said for the most part. I I but anyways, yeah. we've got. We yeah, got, let's discuss we, between. Yeah. Wow, wow, this is seven laps. It is. That's quite a few laps for a 40 second long track. That's definitely more than three minutes. Maybe they were doing for a bit longer runs. Oh, and Jerome gets a domino effect. They're going to hit a fake pickup. And then when he spun out, gets zapped by Zyno. And a drive by gets shot by Rockets as well. Inigo going to pass him too. But Jerome is unhappy with what just happened. And he is getting quite close to Inigo already. And we'll see what happens. He goes for the shortcut path. And it does make sense. Quite good handling yeah. in the Adion. I think they're all going for it. Like, 
the house is not really a pass worth taking. I think you'd lose time with that only. I I think there might be a star on the normal way, although that might have been taken away or I'm just might just be remembering it wrong. But it's Inigo chasing down Jerumu for second. And I I don't think uh, I still don't think the shortcut. Oh, there's a star! I now saw it from Inigo's camera in the back, uh, right out of the house. Oh, Jerome's getting quite close, but he has to, and he somehow dodges that oil. I have no idea how he did it. He managed to dodge that oil. It looked like it was going to be an issue for him, despite getting a good time bonus from the shortcut. He is going to run into that surprise blind oil, though. Uh, holds on to second, dodges the water balloons. Haven't seen too much water balloon action yet. It does come for some spin out, though. Uh, so Indigo is still going to be quite close. They're so cycling. Anything's possible. <laughs> Was the oil there before Zaino got there? I think it was, right? I don't think Zaino put it. No. It looked like Zaino was just avoiding it mm. and Jeromo couldn't see it, on, unlike him. Mm. He does have yet another battery, and that's going to create a 50 meter gap between both of them. There is still quite a bit of wiggle room in these two laps remaining. William fighting with Almo, and Almo corners him out, hits him right into the wall. Almo gets instant karma, though, with a bomb on top of his head. Tom Dom going to be chasing down for fourth place. Fake pickup. Doesn't go for the alternate route. Almo blowing up. Almo on the inside. And that was a fake. Oh, they, they both, both blew up from the yeah. same one. That happens with lag. It's always fascinating to see, though. Yeah. And it's going to be two to go with three of mm. them fairly close. And behind them, Flo and Rodic are also up to something. And we have really seen the nerves coming out. People taking corners too tightly, too anxious. Uh, to get through, Tom Dom seems to have tried to dodge an oil, but in the meantime, got spun way out. William activating the battery at a pretty risky time. Uh, it does seem to be one of the better times, though. It executes on it super well and cycles. Also, look at the gap to third. This yeah. For the 200 meters. It's right. Two blocks of cars, basically, at this point. If there were a few more laps, they'd be getting lapped, I think. Although it's been uh, four minutes. In this race, Tom Dom now attacking Ooh. Olmo, and it's only one lap to go. I mean, when when you z when you make these dramatic zigzags like that, and the, your opponent doesn't shoot the missiles, that's going to be a time loss for you. Um, Olmo, maybe maybe just trying to maybe go for a pickup and change his route at the last second, but uh, he did make some pretty dramatic curves. Tom Dom getting pretty close. If he had something like a shockwave, water balloons. Oh, I was wondering if we were going to... Yeah. The water balloons have not been connecting today. Going to be rewarded with rockets, though. And unless Tom Dom's got some more water, I don't know if he's going to be able to make it happen. Uh, does get a shockwave, though. But, oh, trying to line it up too hard. Flo gets two. No, he did hit that. He did uh, yeah, hit yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, But he runs into the oil tanker. And now Flo has been passed up by Almo in the final turn. Wow. Interesting. Almo managing to find fifth there still. Really surprising. Uh, Zaino, the nice dominant uh, finish. Uh, Jeromu showing that consistency each race. Holding on to second place. Inigo has been doing good for himself. Has gotten a couple podium positions here and there. His points has got, have got to be looking good. William has been a name that's been up there as well. And Almo. Yeah, I do wonder how they're doing. I'm going to check if, yeah, uh, it, the session points I, are... I would love that. I would, lo I would love that because the I, th I feel like the names have been exchanged a lot in uh, these podium so, positions. I feel like it's got to be pretty close. I, I believe Jeremu is leading with 150. I'm not sure they've updated it for this race yet. And William is in second. Is Zed in this lobby? I've not seen Zed. No, Zed has not been in here. So either something is not well sorted. Right. Or these are... Or these are uh... No, but these are... These should be the correct results. Okay. But 
I don't think they are really. Well, we can work on uh, figuring it out. I I do. I have to say though, this has got to be a very close battle between a lot of people. We're headed into another stock track, an infamous stock track at that. Kabai's just gonna be running straight into those. Dum -dum going for the start. Ooh. Missing at first. Ah. <laughs> but at least maybe crashing actually. Maybe he didn't just miss it. He just spawn and run the start. But he now has it, and he's looking at people getting zapped, mm. and is looking at how to take an advantage. He gets up himself and then uses it. Well, and Zino, sure uh, sure yeah, uh, well, Zino did use the battery there, uh, but he unfortunately ran into the wall, spun out a little bit, didn't get as much space as he wanted, but did quite well. And we actually see that Yure, uh in first and second right now. Inigo blowing up from the bomb, not going to hit him though. Uh, top three, actually, now it's going to be top two, but it was for just a moment there. William uh, Rockets locked on to flow in that red Adion. And the, it, it's, um, it's really, I, I feel like um, something that sometimes happens when the stakes are high and pickups are on, the people are kind of wanting to fight, and um, it's it messes up their own lines sometimes. We saw, I, I believe it was Tom Dom uh, lining up that shockwave, and it was a beautiful shot. The only issue was that it caused him to wreck. So even though it was a beautiful shot, there was not that much of a gain from it. Um, but well, yeah, but it he might have felt that that was the only way to catch all more. Mm. The one thing he couldn't see, maybe coming or couldn't hit from behind is uh, was uh, flows better in that one and i know it's the previous race but that's something to talk about mm. sounds are important in a pickups game very like, true you can do decent even without them but they're a huge aid uh, when it comes to your surroundings especially since like of course they're coming in stereo so you can hear where the cars are i think almo run into some issues in the meantime um well I would agree with you there. It looks like Flo is going to be sitting in second place. William and Inigo fighting for third. And um, I, was, I had a thing I'd like to say about the Ure. We saw Zyno taking super, super wide turns in game room. And yeah, it looks like they're quite efficient at doing these tight, tight U-turns. So that's a bit of a conundrum for me. Um, but Ure is definitely surprising me a bit in this track. I thought it was mostly outclassed by Addy on William trying to take a shot. Not going to connect with Flo. Good idea, but it needed a really precise execution. Mm. And, and it, also, I say it's a good idea, but I could have used it at way better places. True. Like, it was fairly close to flow. Well, uh, Jeromu with a big close range water balloon blast. Gonna send in a go. Oh, well, was gonna be making a clean escape. He's been caught up a little bit. Um, William getting close to flow as they head into those U-turns a bit, bit more once it straightens out. And Zyno, who was once, I believe, over 100 meters in the lead. William almost shooting himself with a rocket. Uh, it started to close a little bit. It's definitely, it's not set in stone at this point. It is the final lap 60, 50 meters, though. That's not too much. Um, I guess it really is... Uh, but as I say it, we see the number go into orange. Mm. Yeah, Jeremy is getting close to William in zone. Yeah. Oh, Jeremy! Oh, the devoted balloons beautifully oh, executed. Oh, man. The water balloon fan coming out. The try shot. Uh, very different angles on each of the shots. And one of them going to connect... Head on with William. Beautiful spray and by Jerome. Behind them, I think Tom Dom has just passed in Nico. Mm. I'm not quite sure. I only caught the end of it. And uh, Almo, Almo, Almo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are. What is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we are going to finish in seventh. We're going to be a bit reckless there. Uh, a bit reckless. Kabai just almost going to hit him with the shockwave. Not going to connect. Um, yeah, I, I was like, I didn't know what I had just tuned into. Uh, for a moment, but he does he does finish it out um, And he had actually that's a pretty big fall from graces from where he started out the race in uh, Yeah, uh, was almost reckless there or was he actually he was wrecked wreck full. He, yeah, he was wrecked full. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
The Great Silence is going to be our next track here. Oh my, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, a lot of players, <laughs> I think, still don't really know the proper line in the normal version. So let's uh, give them a full new line. With Zyno going in the chat saying, LMAO never played this. Well, so, I, I, I'm i not going to call anybody out, but I do think I've seen some other people who were racing maybe on some tracks that they weren't too familiar with. So I do believe uh, in Zyno. Zyno is a track developer himself. He's got to have a kind of a natural feel for track flow and what to expect. I think that he'll be able to do just fine. Let's see. Well, it has a very similar start uh, to the normal way, but yeah. then it's gonna get different. At least some parts uh, are similar to Ghost Town. Oh wow, this is the start. Well, uh, start some of them went for. I do believe Rodic had an incorrect version of the game. Started. Uh, now he's in eleven. I. Okay, not sure what happened it, there. Okay. So the game claims he's 11th, but he isn't first on his screen. He will finish when he gets to the end. I don't know. This this could be a disqualification. It's honestly. absolutely. I mean, that was just blatant that he started out way faster. Uh, but anyways, we do have the star coming out. Kabai just fighting with Zyno. Flow close by with William. They're oh, all in the tunnel. Jennifer with the backward shockwave, but it's not gonna be very. Oh wow! Kubai Sush doesn't seem to know the way that well either. And it's, speaking of, Zyno is running third at the moment. He's just running behind him at this point. But now he has to lead on his own. And that's where the pressure begins. Uh, not gonna be letting William by. They're gonna be. He has seen the track for one lap now, at least. So he's gonna be headed inside, taking the entryway of quite a bit better than William. I'd say the exit, maybe not so much, as they head up. It's looking to be okay. William's now fighting with Jeromu, so the pressure's gonna be off of him at least for a little bit. William's gonna be more focused on blocking. I'm. Um, I'm looking at Zaino. I think we got baited. <laughs> I think we did too. <laughs> that shockwave gonna change things in a hurry though. Rodic with that zap, and honestly, he should just be DQ'd. Uh, maybe he should have done it earlier. It's something to consider in the future, but he's gonna be spinning out. It is gonna be Zyno uh, spinning out. I mean, William with a nice lead. Yeah, especially since Rodic uh, has. He, they've caught up to Rodic, so this yeah. means that they're actually quite a bit ahead, so they're not fighting each other. Which means Rodic shouldn't be using uh, zaps on them because mm -hmm. uh, they're like actually. I, I don't think he's aware. Like Ten to fifteen seconds apart. Yeah. Maybe he isn't. But... I, I don't think he's aware. Um, but the water balloons are quite aware, but Dromu a little too excited to take the turn, and he's caught right back up in this conundrum uh, with. Zyno. Zyno, horrible <laughs> exit of the yeah. tunnel. Yeah. The steward or whatever that mm. is. And then he gets shot by Tom Dom. Flo goes by all three people there. Yeah. Was it Rodic with them? Because if it was, then that's why I can't see the person on the radar. Uh huh. It was. Uh, yeah, Zyno getting sent straight into the graveyard there. Uh, but actually, I mean, all things considered, it, uh, uh, not a great recovery. I mean,. It's gonna be. It was rough. Uh, he could still potentially catch him though. The zap coming what out. What happened to William? A battle William for first. William was leading. Oh, yeah. He was leading, and Jerome overtook him in the pub. Maybe William got a bit too much uh, drink, uh, a bit, a bit too many, <laughs> and uh, he now has to catch back up to Jerome. Zaino is closer to him. Yeah. And, he has to be looking behind intensely at this point. And Flo is actually quite close as well, but Tom Dom is very close behind Flo. We could see some interaction here as they head around the gallows. Not going to happen, though. Um, and it, it, this is going to continue in that straight line fashion. We'll see who has the better lines. Who has the pickups? William getting spread the double zap? Zaino has no. the battery. Zaino has the battery. Oh! Is cycling. And he's got a clean sheet. Too close, William. Sneaky, sneaky. A double stop, and um, flow. 
sitting in that third place and it looks like tom dom has passed up zyno as well in the final final lap you hate to see it if you're zyno first time on the track and flow oh william just barely sneaking by into the finish line tom dom locking it down with the battery goodbye just <laughs> zyno's got some choice words for what happened um so what do you think do we do we say that Roddick wait Roddick passed the finish line but he's still yeah but there yeah, because that's not his finish line so he still has to oh has to okay okay yeah now he finished this is why I said that he was actually behind in terms of distance because he has to go to the same place where he started okay well I'll go ahead and note this for the host that Roddick had wrong game version or wrong track. Wow. That was Who's a... I know? Who's I know? He <laughs> oh, off, I know. He started off by saying he didn't know the track. Then he just <laughs> went so great and basically he was leading at some point. <laughs> Then he fell back to fifth, which is not a bad final position, but still, he was leading. Uh, at that point, people don't think about, oh yeah, fifth is not as bad as tenth. They're thinking, oh yeah, I won this win. Exactly, exactly. Tetris Festival um, is actually going to finish us off. So Matty claims that William and Jerome are tied on points. Ooh. Okay. We don't know the exact points. Uh, it must be in a sheet somewhere if Matty knows it. Wow. Well, good job to William for competing with Jerome, who has been a titan in these races so far. If it's true, that's extremely, extremely close. And people seem to be running into the frozen waters. I don't know. Roddick was doing so well, he runs into a Tetris box. <laughs> oh, no. And now Kubaizush with the bomb, Roddick just spins <laughs> all the way across the track oh, and no. the box. Oh my. Uh, Flo with the battery, sitting in second place, cycling. People are going, oh yeah, I was surprised by that. Because that's not the path people take uh, generally. Oh, well, Jerome knows yeah. the path. Jerome knows the path, yeah, but I think well, you're I right. Roddick followed. Yeah. But uh, Jerome now has a bomb. Uh, well, he's nowhere to be seen at this point. Even I can't oh, even find him. Oh, Rodic zapping uh, two people. Ooh, oh, and Jerome as well. Wow. Yeah, Jerome was not that far ahead. He was just going on the other side compared right. to. But no, Rodic goes on the correct. Okay. Here. Well, yeah. not sure it's correct. It is faster than normal. Hmm. Yeah, it, it seems it, like it, follow Jerome blows up again. So yeah, a huge fight for third place. Tom Dom, Jerome, Zaino, William. This is a fight to watch. Uh, this is pay per view. Zaino into the frozen lake. Goodbye, shockwave being shot out as well. Oh wow, the shockwave effect. Actually, I didn't know what it looked like. That. I know. So that's, that's really cool. Jerome getting another bomb. Oh. It it gets rid of that he even uh, zaps by Olmo. spinning into Olmo. But, <laughs> we are only but he is now overtaken by William, who was the one passing him the bomb. Mm. Uh, Jeremu might have caused difficulties uh, for Olmo there, but uh, remember, he needs to catch William because Jeremu and William are apparently. Oh. Tied absolutely right and william taking some very very uh ideal angles running into the fake getting launched and he's got to do full repos i know I, I, I don't think that launch angle was very ideal but it, not quite he's not he's now with us up so i he's got his work cut out for him at this point he's 50 meters behind uh jeromu Two laps remaining. He's uh, Jerome is close to flow though, and if he gets greedy here, he could make some decisions he might regret, um, or maybe 
some great things could come out of it, but William is being chased by Zino as well. Yeah, and uh, it's around 30 meters. I don't know if Jeremy was listening to the cast itself, but I don't know how he would be feeling if, uh, like, he knows that, oh yeah, he could potentially catch the person ahead and leave some buffer between him and William. Mm. But staying behind could be better uh, risk-wise, I think. Because well, we would probably go for a kill. Oh, yeah. That's what, I, out. Right, that's what I was going to say. Jeromu, huge full deceleration in the spin. Uh, but he has got such a gap on Jeromu, or on Zino, Almo, Inigo, William. This has got to be close to being over. Um, he's going to be popping the battery and the zap. Uh, no, actually, yeah. it's going to be flow on the zap. And yeah, Roddick on his... Everybody's popping their zaps here. And Jeromu... Jeromu didn't get zapped by either. Jeromu did zap Roddick, though. Yeah. Okay, that was weird. A bit of ping can do mm, that. Yeah. It yeah. definitely seemed interesting. Frustratingly uh, enough. Uh, and that's it. That is actually... That was our final lap. Uh, wow, Jeromu with... There's, there's still a fourth place in the race. Oh, to be yeah. Ahead, and a fifth one. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, I don't think Zyno has anything. It's gonna be too late if he gets it now. Yes. Maddie the trying. Tom Dom with the repo. Got the battery, though. It's gonna be fine. And Kabai just finishes out in reverse. Um... GG's. I think that's got to be uh, first place for Jeromu, but definitely I, uh, we, that would imply a second place for William, and I would believe that. Uh, but also the points might be very close to each other. Um, unfortunately, Tom Dom there towards the end had a couple of lower finishes. It might have taken him out of a podium. Um, we'll have to get the full updated scores to know for sure. Almo had his moments. Absolutely had his moments. Possibly... Got podium. GG's to all. GG's to all. Um, yeah, it was interesting even I did miss like half of it, so mm -hmm. I have no idea.